Hello everyone and welcome to Hyundai Motor America's press conference for the 2013 Santa Fe. I'm Kristen Burt and we are live here at the New York International Auto Show at the Jacob Javits Center. I hope you join me for the entire broadcast even after the press conference because we're going to have a lot of insider information for you and also some special guests. So without further ado, let's kick it off with our first two guests of the broadcast right before the reveal. We do have Dave Zukowski, who is Executive Vice President of Sales, and Steve Shannon, Vice President of Marketing. Hello, gentlemen. How are you? Good to see you. All right. So uh, we are right here before the press conference, and I've got some you know good questions for you right off the bat. Okay. How were Hyundai's sales for the first quarter? Pretty exciting, right? Uh, I'll take that one. It was really, <laughs> really exciting. Um, we had a record March. We sold 8,000 more cars in March than we ever have before, just under 70 thousand and it was up 13 percent year over year and for the first quarter it was a record first quarter so we've never seen this type of volume before that's unbelievable so we're really rolling into even more excitement with this reveal now do you do attribute some of these sales to all the advertising efforts between the Super Bowl and the Academy Awards well you know what it's uh, it's great product but I'd like to just take the tiniest little bit of credit for the marketing team you know one critical thing at Hyundai we start off the year very strong we do not want to dig ourselves in a hole so when you take the Super Bowl the Academy Academy Awards, Hyundai Tournament of Champions, Detroit Auto Show, we come out with guns blazing to get off to a great start and I'd like to think that the, the pressure of all that marketing has in a small way helped with this monster month we had in March. Oh, absolutely. Yeah, it's really exciting. Now, we've got the new reveal of the 2013 Santa Fe. When are we going to expect to see that in dealerships? Uh, we'll start seeing that probably in mid-August. They'll start building it in July. We're very excited. It's a segment that we've been, um, it, it's our oldest product right now. It's a booming segment, and the car is going to be every bit as beautiful as our most recent products. And we've generally doubled sales with the launch of those new products. So we're very excited. It's right in the heart of the market. That's unbelievable. I know the sales force is eager to see it, and then, of course, then get it out to the consumers. Yep, what does that mean in terms of marketing efforts for the new Santa Fe? Can you give us a tease? Uh, just a little bit. First of all, I think what is critical to say is the Santa Fe takes this incredible power we have with warranty, fuel economy, quality, and you add this dramatic styling that just turbocharges it. So it's going to do for us in the in the crossover space what Elantra has done, what Santa Fe, what what uh, what Elantra and Sonata have done. Um, the real focus, I'd say, Kristen, is on families. You know, we do great with with younger kids pre-family. We do great with empty nesters, but it's that core 40-something with one or two kids where we haven't been as strong as we'd like. And when you see this car, the functionality, the utility it has, with all that Hyundai quality and fuel economy wrapped in a great, great fluidic sculpture shape, and we're going to do great things with it. I can't wait to see it. Now, I know you guys both have seen it. You're very familiar with it. Give me, in like one word or less, one word or less, exactly, <laughs> one word or less, because we have to go soon, but uh, how would you describe the Santa Fe? Uh, I would say stunning. It's functional, but it's hot. Oh, see, so he, he can give the extra word there. He's a marketing. Words. He's a marketing. I like it. I like it. I have one word for you. Functional, but hot. Oh, I love that. Well, thank you, gentlemen, for joining us. We're really looking forward to it, and we appreciate your insight with thank all of this. Thank you very much. Great. All right. Thank you so much. Now, don't forget, we will have even more guests and insider information just beyond this uh, broadcast with the press conference. As you can see, in just about uh, 45 seconds, we will have the launch for the press conference. Everyone is here, the press is here. We have got all the people gathered and the excitement is building. So as we're gonna talk to you about all of this, we'll see some of the interesting things. You've seen maybe some of the spy photos that they teased out on the internet. Um, there's two variants to take a look at. I don't want to reveal too much, but I think you have a lot of excitement building for this. So be sure to join us because we've got huge guests coming immediately following this press conference. As you look behind us, we, the countdown begins. We are looking at just about 10 seconds. And with that, I'm gonna leave you with the 2013 Santa Fe Press Conference. Enjoy.
Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome the president and CEO of Hyundai Motor America, John Krafchak. Hey everybody, good afternoon. Thanks to all of you for joining us. Now before we get started, I'd like to extend a welcome to two special guests from the Hyundai team. First, Mr. SGO. He's our Hyundai Design Chief and a Senior Executive Vice President. Also, we've got a good friend of mine, Alan Rushforth, who's here. He's the COO of Hyundai Motor Europe. Thanks to both of you guys for joining us. And thanks to all of you. I also want to welcome all of our dealers. There's a bunch of dealers out here, uh, employees and media watching us, as well as those watching us on our Live Connect internet broadcast, including some of the Hyundai Think Tank team. So welcome, all of you. So here in New York, spring is truly in the air, especially for the auto business. In the first quarter, the industry sales increased by more than 13%, which gives us a SAR of about 14.5 million. Feels pretty good. We're delighted by that news and by the relatively steady upswing we're seeing in the economy at last. And so far, 2012 has been an okay year for Hyundai as well. Our total sales are up 15%, and our retail sales, the all-important retail sales, are up an even stronger 19%. Year to date, our fleet mix is under 10%. The good news is we've achieved this retail sales growth with very light incentive spending. Now, according to auto data, the industry average incentive spend in March was $2,547. Hyundai spend remains the lowest in the industry, though. We're at just $843 per car, which is about one-third the industry average. That's good news. This coincides with some other recent data showing our growing brand strength in the U.S., now, one of the things we keep an eye on is the percentage of car shoppers who visit a Hyundai dealership versus other brands. It's what folks in the industry call our share of shops. And recently, our share reached an all-time high. For the first time, we're ahead of Nissan and just a half percentage point behind Honda. And once shoppers buy a Hyundai, we stand a pretty good chance of selling them another. That's because Hyundai owners are now the most loyal in the industry, according to both Kelly Blue Book and J.D. Power. And you know one factor driving our success? Undoubtedly, especially in this environment right now, fuel economy. In March, the EPA confirmed that Hyundai leads the entire industry in fuel efficiency. And we continue to lead the industry in the sales of 40 mile per gallon vehicles. In fact, last month, sales of our four 40 MPG models were up more than 67% compared with last March and accounted for a pretty remarkable 41% of our total sales. Finally, when the time comes for our customers to trade in their Hyundai for a new one, they have another reason to be happy. Our residual values are now among the top five in the industry. We're ahead of Toyota. And interestingly, we are ahead, the Hyundai brand, of every luxury brand in the industry in residual value. All those things demonstrate the health of our brand today. But there's another data point that hints at an even brighter future. According to data from CNW, our median driver's age, median driver's age is just 42.4 years. It's among the lowest in the industry, and it's well below our key competitors. That means we've got a tremendous opportunity to earn their loyalty as they move up to new Hyundai models in the years to come. And you know, our Veloster has done especially well attracting young buyers to the brand. Right now, we're kicking off a new relationship with Zipcar, the car sharing company, to give more folks the opportunity to experience Veloster. We're going to place 100 Velosters in Zipcar fleets in four US cities, with the lion's share of those driving the streets right here in New York City. But today, our focus is on a different customer segment. And when you look at the different life stages of our customers, you'll find that Hyundai does really well with singles, young couples, what we call pre-family, and also empty nesters, what we call post-family. But if there's one customer group we haven't fully served, it's families with two or more kids at home. Now, what's the reason? Well, just look at our recent launches. They've all been passenger vehicles, primarily sedans. But many families need the size, flexibility, and capability. So we've been applying the lessons of recent years to this important customer. If you look at our recent product launches, we think, anyway, we've defied the status quo with our emotional design, what we call fluidic sculpture. We've tried to delight customers with rewarding performance, but also give them industry-leading fuel economy. And we provided those customers with the peace of mind of Hyundai Assurance. That's a great warranty 
great quality and reliability and wonderful residual value. Now, what happens when we apply that same recipe to a family crossover? Well, let's have a look. Let's welcome the 2013 Hyundai Santa Fe. Ladies and gentlemen, introducing the all-new 2013 Santa Fe. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome Vice President, Product Planning and Corporate Planning, Michael O'Brien. Good afternoon. Well, this is something we haven't done for a while. It was late in 2009 when we last introduced an all-new crossover. In fact, that vehicle, the Tucson, led our fluidic sculpture transformation. With the all-new Santa Fe, we're stepping up our crossover game. Our objective is to give buyers who need a crossover a full complement of vehicle sizes, much as we've done with our sedans. Tucson provides a very sophisticated CUV for active lifestyles with a compact size ideal for singles and couples. The all-new Santa Fe provides a choice for buyers with young kids or extended families. And as you've come to expect from Hyundai, it's a groundbreaking choice, set apart by bold design, weight-saving construction, advanced fuel-saving powertrains, active safety and performance technologies that set a new benchmark for the segment. Santa Fe's cutting-edge shape reflects our continuing design transformation. It, prevents, it presents a capable and sophisticated look with its high belt line, strong character lines, LED light accents, and chrome-finished grille and door handles. It also boasts better aerodynamics to improve fuel efficiency and further hush wind noise. That's especially impressive given today's Santa Fe already provides a very quiet cabin. If anything, the interior has undergone even a more dramatic transformation. Its upscale flowing surfaces neatly integrate do-anything capability with premium comfort. Santa Fe offers a panoramic sunroof, dual front power seats, heated seats front and rear, heated steering wheel, dual zone climate control, and the convenience of a proximity key with push-button start. Santa Fe is also the first non-luxury vehicle to feature driver-selectable steering and torque vectoring, cornering control for outstanding handling performance. Controls and information systems have been dramatically redesigned. Electroluminescent gauges and a color TFT information display provide the driver with essential information at a glance. Hyundai Blue Link is standard, and with Santa Fe, it adds a very useful new feature, remote start access through the Blue Link smartphone app. Blue Link is uh, integrated into our latest generation audio and navigation system, which now includes Pandora internet radio and digital HD radio. The Pandora screen uses the same familiar song display with thumbs up and thumb down options. And for the dedicated audio file, Santa Fe can be further upgraded with a premium audio system featuring Infinity Logic 7 surround sound. In a family vehicle, space is always appreciated. So we've given rear passengers more legroom, in fact, more second row legroom than you'll find in the Nissan Murano, Toyota Highlander, or even the full-size Chevy Traverse. The rear seat offers, uh, allows for a variety of people and cargo carrying configurations. There are two seat sections which can be slid fore and aft independently. In addition, the seat back has three foldable sections split 20, I'm sorry, 40, 20, 40. So the possibilities are almost endless. 
The standard seat material is also pretty impressive. Engineered for us by Sage, the Yes Essentials treated fabric is spill resistant, odor resistant, antibacterial, and antistatic to help keep Santa Fe looking its best. Behind the second row, Santa Fe has grown to over 35 cubic feet of cargo space. That's more than the Ford Edge or Chevy Equinox. This year, we've been talking a lot about weight reduction, which brings all kinds of benefits in terms of performance and efficiency. Well, this Santa Fe is the most dramatic example yet. In one generation, we've reduced Santa Fe vehicle weight by an amazing 266 pounds. We're nearly 300 pounds lighter than Equinox and more than 500 pounds lighter than Edge. So how do we do that? The unibody is constructed using 38% ultra-high tensile steel. That's up from 8% in today's Santa Fe. High tensile steel improves rigidity and strength while reducing overall vehicle weight. With these weight savings, we can meet customer needs very nicely with our exceptionally efficient direct-injected four-cylinder engines. We're launching the all-new Santa Fe with two high-tech engines already delighting customers in the Hyundai Sonata. The 2.4-liter Theta-2 with gasoline direct injection and the 2-liter Theta-2 turbo GDI. Both use DI, high compression ratios, and variable valve timing to deliver more power more efficiently. They're assisted in that task by our six-speed automatic transmissions. The naturally aspirated 2.4-liter delivers an amazing estimated 33 mpg on the highway. That's the best highway fuel economy of any crossover or any SUV equipped with an automatic transmission. Coupled with the vehicle's low curb weight, it also delivers the highest power-to-weight ratio of any standard four-cylinder crossover. As for the turbo, it provides even more punch. With 264 horsepower, it's got more power than the Edge turbo model and many V6 competitors, while delivering an estimated 31 mpg on the highway. To further boost efficiency, all Santa Fe models feature Hyundai's Active Eco technology. When selected, Active Eco smooths out throttle responses and transmission mapping to reduce fuel consumption by up to 7%. Safety is core to Santa Fe's legacy. The Insurance Institute for Highway Safety has named the current Santa Fe a top safety pick five times since 2007. That's impressive by itself. Yet the all-new model advances safety in a number of ways, beginning with accident avoidance. The vehicle stability management system now features active steering assist to help the driver maintain control in emergency situations. The optional all-wheel drive system provides additional safety, coupled with our torque vectoring cornering control system. This is a truly state-of-the-art system, and you won't find it on any of our competitors. It be its benefits include improving cornering stability, reduction of over and understeer, and outstanding control on mixed surfaces, for example, when one side of the vehicle is on ice and the other on loose sand. When no system intervention is needed, this advanced system uh, for our all-wheel drive delivers 100% of the power to the front axle to maximize fuel efficiency. And it does it all with complete transparency to the driver. With Santa Fe, Hyundai is the very first car maker to bring the dynamics of torque vectoring to affordable family crossovers. It also, also new to Santa Fe is a standard hill start assist control, downhill brake control, also returns a standard. And for passive safety, Santa Fe introduces its first driver's side knee airbag, one of a suite of seven airbags, including rollover activated side curtain airbags. The all new Santa Fe is a confident and highly capable crossover built for today's family with flexible space, premium interior amenities, outstanding performance courtesy of dramatic weight savings and segment-first technologies, impressive fuel economy, and advanced safety. We're also pleased to tell you that this vehicle will be built here in the USA, just like the previous generation, going back to 2006. Santa Fe begins arriving at Hyundai dealerships in late summer, providing a very compelling new choice in this important category. Value is definitely part of that equation. And while we can't share pricing just yet, we can tell you that Santa Fe will continue the Hyundai tradition of delivering a lot of vehicle for our customers' hard-earned dollar. And now, for a few closing words, here again, John Krafcek. Thanks, everybody. Hope you like the Santa Fe. Now, for those of you who haven't been keeping count, 
Santa Fe represents the sixth vehicle in what we've called our 711 launch plan. As the name implies, it comprises seven product launches, all within an 11 month time period. In the last five months, we've already shown you six of those. Right? We had the all new Azera, the refreshed Genesis Coupe, Veloster Turbo, uh, two new flavors of Elantra, the GT and the Coupe, and this vehicle, the all new Santa Fe. And that's a blistering pace for any car company, let me tell you. But you know something? We do have just one more thing. When we created this all-new Santa Fe, honestly, we, we just couldn't stop. We started asking ourselves, what about families who need even more cargo space or seating capacity? What if we made another Santa Fe just for them that was bigger with a longer wheelbase and a proper third row seat? And what about folks who have greater towing needs, say for a boat or their track car? What if we gave them an advanced direct injected V6? Well, at Hyundai Speed, all of those big ideas are now coming to life. This is the new big brother in our crossover line. It's the long wheelbase, three row Santa Fe. It provides even more family focused capability. This larger Santa Fe will be offered with two seating options, a seven passenger with a sliding second row and a six passenger model with center row captain's chairs. The long wheelbase Santa Fe also has a lot of extra space, about 16% more behind the second row seat than in the five passenger model, which we're calling Santa Fe Sport. The engine, it's the same highly acclaimed V6 found in the all new Azera, the 3.3 liter Lambda 2. You know, it's the only midsize crossover with a standard direct injected V6. And with 290 horsepower, it's got more power on tap than Honda Pilot or Toyota Highlander. The larger Santa Fe will also introduce additional features, including a power lift gate and Hyundai's first blind spot detection system. Now, the five passenger Santa Fe Sport arrives late this summer, and the seven passenger Santa Fe comes just a few months later in January. Now, with these all new Santa Fe models, Hyundai customers can make the perfect choice for their family needs. There's the two row, five passenger Santa Fe Sport. It's powered by an efficient and responsive direct injected four cylinder that delivers a class leading 33 miles per gallon, or an even more powerful 264 horsepower direct injected turbo version that delivers 31 MPG. And the long wheelbase Santa Fe features three row, seven passenger seating, more passenger and cargo space, and the towing power of a 290 horsepower direct injected 3.3 liter V6. Both provide our latest fluidic sculpture design, premium comfort, class leading fuel economy, and the assurance of Hyundai's quality, reliability, and really strong residual values. Now, just one quick final note for you. One of our passions at Hyundai is Hope on Wheels, our initiative to help young cancer patients and find cures for all forms of pediatric cancer through targeted research grants. Within this calendar year, our total contributions will surpass $57 million. And we officially kick off the 14th year of Hope on Wheels here at the Hyundai display tomorrow night at 6 o'clock. If you'd like to learn more about that, hope you guys can join us. And now I, I do have one final reveal for you guys today. You've been so good, so patient. Lunch, lunch, and it's on us. Please join us. We'll be happy to share any details, any questions you may have about our new Santa Fe family. Uh, we'd love to talk to you. Thank you for coming. Take care, everybody. All right, you just saw the reveal of the 2013 Hyundai Santa Fe. It's exciting here. You can see all the journalists are heading on up to swarm the vehicle and take a closer look. Now, as I mentioned, we'll have some special guests uh, throughout this broadcast. And we'll not only be talking about the redesign, but also about technology. And here to talk about technology with me is Michael Dietz, Senior Group Manager of Connected Car. Michael, how are you? Hi, good to see you. Again. That was quite a press conference. What did you think? It was great. I'm really happy to see 
you know, where we're really letting people know we have vehicles really to meet family as well as people who are single or pre-family as well. There's really going to be something for everyone. And I want to talk about some of the technology that we're seeing in the Santa Fe, starting off with uh, Pandora. I mean, what is the functionality of Pandora within the Santa Fe? Santa Fe offers embedded Pandora so that you have the ability to do your integration of thumbs up, thumbs down, and really help customize your music that much further. And then there's something really interesting with the HD radio. Uh, it's a functionality that we haven't seen before in any of the other vehicles. Uh, it's iTunes tagging. Right. We're happy that the HD functionality that we're unveiling in the Santa Fe enables you to actually select tag a song. And then when you redock back in with your Apple product, you're able to download that song automatically from iTunes. So there's no need to fumble for a pen or a pencil to write down that information. Just with a simple press of a button, you can download it. Very intuitive for the consumer. I love that. Absolutely. Again, we build all of our cars with consumers in mind. All right. So we also have a really big thing with technology that's been integrated into some of the vehicles, and we'll see it in the full lineup soon. We'll ask you about that. but. We're not going to do it alone. We're going to bring someone else on here with us, and that is Don Tryon from Ajiro. How are you? I'm fine, just fine. Thanks for having me. Now, you guys work together quite a bit uh, with Blue Link, don't you? We do. Can't you see we're almost joined at the here? <laughs> it's cozy back here. Look at all the press behind us, too. <laughs> Absolutely. Um, you know, really, we're working well on a day-to-day -day basis with Ajero because Ajero is behind the scenes, our telematic service provider that helps us deliver the really groundbreaking Blue Link technology that we have and we launched in Sonata last year. And Don, how did this partnership come about? Well, this is uh, something that's been uh, going on now for about the last two and a half, almost three years. So uh, we've all been working pretty hard and uh, we're pretty excited. You know, we're 10 months now into launch and uh, it's a great product to start. We're just going to keep making it better. You know, Blue Link, we're going to see this in the entire lineup. And I said I was going to ask you, I'm going to ask you right now, when are we going to see the full lineup with Blue Link? You're going to see it available in the full lineup by the end of next year. So by the end of 2013, we'll have it available across the entire lineup. And Santa Fe really offers us a great opportunity to really play up a lot of the features that really appeal to families. So in addition to the core safety equipment that's in the Hyundai Assurance or in the Blue Link Assurance package, which is the automatic collision notification, you also have a suite of geofencing that great for parents to use, as well as, as we talk about eco, there's an eco coach function that helps you drive better. And then also connecting our customers back to dealerships as well, giving them an easy way to really connect to the dealership and schedule an appointment with our service link feature. So a great way, push a button and just say service link. And so it's really all encompassing the technology. Now I know I, this works with the cloud. So what does that mean and what does it mean for the consumer? Yeah, you know, the, the, the great thing about working with the cloud is you can make changes and enhancements on the fly. So the service that we all know today as Blue Link uh, will be hopefully far different and far enhanced, you know, a year from now, but it allows us to make really quick changes, uh, you know, on the go. And for us at Hyundai, again, as this is a partnership, what that really translates to our consumers and our dealerships is really increased value within the model lineup. And we want to continue to, again, offer models that are not only appealing from a, a body style or interior vehicle, but from a technology point of view, because we know technology helps sell cars. Yeah, as a consumer's demand new technology, you have to keep up with demand and you have to come up with new ways to deliver it. You guys are ready for the challenge. I am. Absolutely. <laughs> keep going. All right. Well, thanks for giving us the inside scoop on all of this. We sure appreciate it. Thanks, thanks for joining us here for the launch. Absolutely. Thank you, gentlemen. All right. So we gave you a little bit of the details on Blue Link and what that means for the all new 2013 Santa Fe. What we're going to do now is head on up. If we can make our way through the crowd, this is going to be interesting live. We love this. And we are going to see that Santa Fe up close and personal and also talk to a few other very special guests. You don't want to miss it. So come along and join us as I battle my way through the crowd right now. Here we go. Now I'm going to make my way uh, over here and uh, up through the crowd so we can try and make our way to the Santa Fe. We did do the launch. The crowds are all here. The press is here. Excuse me. I'm just going to come on through. All right. You can see how exciting it is. I love this. This is what you get with live TV. Excuse me. We are live, we're coming right through here to the Santa Fe. Believe it or not, it is just on the other side. Excuse me. Looks like everyone's waiting for lunch over here as well. Excuse me, we are live so everyone can see that brand new Santa Fe. There it is. That wasn't too bad, was it now? 
Now we are here and hopefully we will have a few special guests joining us in just a moment talking about that new Santa Fe and what it means to everyone. But uh, here it is behind me. You can see people are able to get in, really get an up close and personal look with the new vehicle. And uh, you can see everyone's really enjoying it. So the buzz is happening, press is happening, and hopefully we're gonna have a few of our guests in just a moment. I don't even wanna tell you who it is because it's a pretty big VIP. But uh, we will also have uh, just several of those. But if you pan around, you can just really see how everyone is taking a look at not only the cargo space, but all of the capability of the vehicle. They were talking a lot about the powertrain as well. And we don't have pricing just yet. That hasn't been announced. But as you will see, the five passenger will be coming out around August. And then we will also see and then we will also see uh, the seven passenger coming in January, as they just mentioned. All right, we have our very special guest coming your way just right now. And you know, this is the great thing about live TV. I have some great questions from journalists to ask hard hitting questions. Here we go. I'm going to introduce Mike O'Brien. He is Vice President of Corporate and Product Planning. Mike, come on over here and join us. Hey, how are you doing? Fantastic. Good job up there. How do you feel at the whole press conference? You know, we're very, very fortunate. We have such a strong design team and R&D team. They really deliver the they deliver the muscle for us. They so sure did. Great products. Good, I know, and that's the great thing. And not only do you have uh, the five passenger, but you have the seven passenger offering even more for consumers. We do. So we really tried with this Santa Fe to really cover the market, get really good market footprint. So when you think about it, our Tucson does a great job with young couples. Our Santa Fe short wheelbase does a great job with uh, starting families, beginning families, people are buying a new home. Uh, and our long wheelbase Santa Fe does a fabulous job with core families, people with multiple kids, they want to take the neighbor's kids with them. It's great for an all activity kind of vehicle. Well, here's the exciting thing because we have all uh, questions in from uh, the journalists and they have uh, a couple of great questions for you. You ready? You're okay. coming under fire here. I'll try. Okay, so uh, we have, uh, this is from Linda Water Nelson. She wants to know what the tow capacity of this vehicle is for weekenders who'd like to pull a small boat or trailer and is towing recommended at all? All three of our uh, Santa Fe Sport, well, we have two engines for Santa Fe Sport. We have a 2.4 liter, 181 horsepower engine. That's gasoline direct injection. Then we have a turbo uh, GDI two liter engine. Those two vehicles will tow, uh, well, 2,000 pounds for the 2.4 liter, 3,500 pounds for the turbo engine. That's in the Santa Fe Sport, the short wheelbase model. Now, for the V6 standard engine in our long wheelbase model, we're, we haven't fully uh, certified it yet, so I can tell you this, it's going to be substantially more than the 3500 in the short wheelbase Santa Fe Sport. So we have some good things to look forward to then. So, there's no doubt that our engineers have in mind the ability to tow small boat, race car, really be an all-activity vehicle. So not only take all the kids, but all their gear and, and some motorcycles or a boat. Uh, it'll be better than 3,500. That much I know for sure. I love that. And uh, since I have, you know, the vice president of product planning, I want to know what's next. Well, I can tell you this year our focus is on families. Really, that's where we want to up our game. We want to really cover the market when it comes to family-friendly vehicles. And this is our first volley in that area. So watch for more. Stay All tuned. right, so it's just a little tease on the Santa Fe. You're not going to tell us what's next beyond that. Oh, uh, there's always something else coming. I have to keep you coming back. Okay, off camera, you can whisper it to me later. How does that sound? I, I'll think about it. I appreciate it, Mike. Thank you so much for joining us. All right. So there you go. You got the inside scoop from the Vice President of Corporate and Product Planning. Uh, the great thing is we've got an even bigger guest coming in just a moment. Please welcome President and CEO John Kravchuk. Congratulations. Thanks so much. It's great to be here. All right. How do you feel about the press conference? Well, it was a very exciting uh, press conference. It's, it's rare in this industry to have the opportunity to show one car and then have a little trick up your sleeve, which we had with the long wheelbase Santa Fe. So it felt good. There was a lot of enthusiasm in the room. And I think most people were genuinely surprised when the second car rolled out. I know you have two variants and you know, you've know you set the benchmark in terms of volume and sales with um, the Santa Fe. Do you feel the pressure now with the redesign? Um, you know, the Santa Fe is now the oldest model in our lineup, so the pressure I was feeling was we, we need to refresh and get the new car out. We've got a lot of confidence in the new design. We love the fact that we've got these two wheelbases that can cater to two different family groups, the smaller family or the larger family. You know, and Veracruz has done a good job for us, frankly, but 
We've got so much more volume capability with this, as well as the strength of that Santa Fe brand name. I can't tell you, we're just so excited about getting both of these products to our dealers. It's going to bring new consumers to the brand, I imagine, too. Absolutely, yeah. I mean, you know, Veracruz, again, great product, but, you know, we had marketed that more as a premium vehicle. I think folks are going to be surprised at the price point we come in at with the long wheelbase Santa Fe. It's going to be substantially under $30,000 with a lot of features. This V6 engine with 290 horsepower, outstanding fuel economy, that incredible incredible sliding second row and a lot of room behind the third row seat. I mean, there's a whole bunch of things to be excited about. Great for families, great price points. You know, the buzzword we hear constantly in the automotive industry is fuel economy. And, you know, the Santa Fe really delivers that 33 miles per gallon highway. You know, do you think the consumer is really going to latch on to that? I think so. I mean, you look at Sonata, right, with its 35 miles per gallon, which is outstanding, set a new benchmark. When you think of a crossover, larger, heavier, more wind resistance, being able to deliver 33 miles per gallon with a car like that, I think consumers are going to say, what? <laughs> I'm going to get 33 miles per gallon with this thing? It's fantastic. I'll take it. <laughs> yeah. Sign me up. And you know, something that I, I think has become more and more important to consumers is the fact that this vehicle will be built in the U.S. This is your third vehicle altogether. Um, how important is it to talk about that with consumers, that this is about U.S. production? You know, I think it is, it's a hugely important thing, especially for a brand like, like Hyundai. I mean, you know, we're often considered not an American brand, but we build about two-thirds of the cars we sell right here in the U.S., and we export to other countries from the U.S., so we're a hugely important part of the U.S. manufacturing base, and we have to get that word out. We really want consumers to know that our three best-selling products, Sonata, Elantra, and Santa Fe, all built right here in the USA. Well, this is exciting, uh, you know, not only for the 2000, 2013 models, but really for the future of Hyundai. It really shows the strength, especially based on the first quarter sales, too. Yeah, we had a pretty darn good first quarter. You know, our sales are, are up substantially. Um, we outgrew the industry, which is hard for us, because I think one of the things a lot of people talk about with Hyundai is they know about our plant constraints. Um, they know that, for the most part right now, it's difficult for us to get more capacity. So we're doing everything we can, working with our global supply network, to get more plant, to get more product to our dealers. We're also taking our mix of fleet down. Um, in prior years, we might have sold as many as 20% of our cars to rental fleets. Last year, that number was just 10%. This year, it's looking like 5 or 6%. That means that we can sell more cars to retail customers through our dealers. And there are going to be some happy consumers out there. Congratulations on the reveal. Thanks Thank you so much. much for joining us. We appreciate it. Take care, everybody. All right. We've had some amazing guests, as you can see, and it's been an incredible press conference here in New York City for the 2013 Santa Fe. I want to remind you guys that if you want to see any other portion of this broadcast, the press conference, any of our guests, and learn more information, you you can always log back onto this website, of course, and uh, check it out again. And remember, the 2013 Santa Fe will be making its way later this summer, the seven passenger in January. And uh, we want to thank you so much for joining us. I'm Kristen Burt, live from the Jacob Javits Center here at the New York International Auto Show. We will see you next time.